guide you through guide you through that. But coming back to your submission, you don't all have to agree. You don't have to make one. You don't have to cover all of the points that you thought you were going to cover. You can, you can flag that some areas, in your view, need to be prioritised more or need future work. Um, and then you, you basically plant that for the, for the councillors to, to have the thinking. Um, no, nothing else really, I don't think, from what Dean said. Um, yeah. No, I think nothing, anything else that would be any good. Are we recording? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're now recording. Yeah. So we're going to re adjourn the meeting now. Recording has started. Um, so do we want to defer the annual plan to a subsequent meeting and have discussion later? Yes. Yes. Any thoughts? Um, no. I wanted to bring up, so we can discuss it now or we can discuss it later. And that is the removal of the events budget. When we talk about sort of a road to recovery and things like that, I think it's really important to have some. Has it been removed completely? I think, it, you know, if I look at, at um, our place, Fidianga, over the weekend, and in terms of how fantastic events can be, all the hype leading up to beach hop and things like that. And I think having some funds in there and available. You know, that's part of our road to recovery as well. Is it is it a, getting being able to establish more of these things, bring some much needed mm. spend into the community? That's yeah. just one thing that I sort yeah. of thought would be important, but happy to discuss. For example, like this Waka Ama event yeah. that's coming. I think we seem to be focused on the now what has been and what always has been, like the beach hop. How about we put some freshness into something else? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm meaning. So this fund would be to help the news, like I'm hearing yes. about the established ones, yes, and how much they're part of the calendar. But wouldn't it be great? Yeah, that well, I just I don't, agree. want to make sure we don't miss out on opportunities. Yes, right, missed opportunities. Right, we're going to miss the bus otherwise. That's just a thought for me. That doesn't help because it's putting money back into, but. <laughs> so, so through the chair, um, you know, this again sort of comes into the question of: Is this a community board issue, or is the event budget held at a council level, and rather than at a community level? And well, through the chair, I can answer that as a districtly funded um, budget. And um, but the board can submit on a district funded budget um, as it relates to their community. So if they think that events are like really, really important to their community and retention of that fund yeah. is important, then they can certainly put their community hat on and make their comment on that. But no, funding not from district. And it may not be um we ask for the full fund to be reinstated, but I just feel like we should be some some months there. To help these sort of fledgling, I believe it was 50k, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's the number I had in my mind. So, you know, the wording could be retained some funds to support events across the district. I mean, we're not talking about just here, we're talking about across the district, but there is real value in them. I, I have no doubt, and that's why I come back to my original comment of saying what makes up the other lumpy amounts and how much of value do they provide and what influence do we have over those compared to some of the other aspects that we see as being quite critical and i think that is more of a council discussion that we need to have at, at some point in time and you know from a a community level, I think it would be quite right to say that it's important to be able to fund some of these for the benefits of the local community and then deal with some of those wider aspects of how they can be funded. Mm. Yeah. Chair Kristen, um, just 
obviously I can um, see what's going in and some going on in some of the other board areas. Um, I can tell you that at the moment it looks as though grants and community events will be something that most of the boards would want to submit on. Um, so I'd imagine there'll be a range of submissions and therefore that will be a topic of the deliberations package. Just to the um, chair, I just want to um, express something. For myself, I'm concerned for our community here in Fitiana on the ground. That's why I put my hand up as a community, a member, you know, a community, community in its whole sense. Yes, yeah, so that's my, my passion is for our, our town and what goes around on around here in Fitiana. So do we want to continue going through the draft submission and keep submitting, or do we want to meet at another time with these with the discussion? No preference. We can keep going through then. Okay, so we briefly discussed the discretionary and contestable grants. I think, sorry, Bess, I kind of had an awkward position. Um, did we all support that statement as it stands at the moment, or is there any amendments that you'd like to make to that? I'm okay with that one. Um, we got to the stormwater, wastewater and water supply investigation fees, which are under the operational works, and obviously um, having Bruce here will be beneficial in that conversation. Um, so we had put, based on the previous conversation, supporting the reduction in budget um, for the investigation fees, but strongly supporting the completion of the Fijian Water Supply Strategy Study as proposed. So I think that was clear that the board didn't want to lose that particular funding stream. Um, is everyone happy with that statement or do they want to add anything more based on the fact we've had Grant here talk about Matarangi um, at our previous um, RAPAR chair meeting we had Penny talk about the Hahe um, water and wastewater which we were looking at being deferred. I don't know whether we wanted to get into that depth of conversation or comment but happy to put them in. Um, I personally don't support the reduction. Okay. Anyone? Is this the investigation? This was the investigation reduction. This suggestion was to um, remove 300,000 from the overall budget, overall investigation strategy. Just get to the right thing. You've all got a copy of the plan there as well. Um, yeah, it was on page 10, at the bottom of page 10. Reducing these budgets by 300,000 means this budget for underground investigations and complaint investigations. We have sufficient funding to complete the Fitiana water supply study that is currently underway, but we need to source more funding to implement any recommendations that come back from the study. Mm -hmm. I have issues with the complaint investigation. If we get a complaint, we should be able to reduce it. I feel like we need to retain that. Um, the, the through the chair, yeah. <clears throat> just to so provide a comment um, to that, uh, it is important to investigate if we have a complaint. Um, what I'd say is that um, what that would mean, <coughs> the reduction <coughs> would mean yeah, that. Type it through, then. Just the zoom down the bottom right. Zoom. Yay. Um, it would just mean if there was something like urgent and obvious, we'd do it. Yeah. If there was something that we think needs further investigation and we need to resolve it, it just would mean we might not be able to get onto that straight away. We'd have to maybe defer that investigation for a bit further out. So, so it's not like if there was an urgent issue, we just leave people hanging. Yeah. But if there was an emerging issue, we might kind of defer that and go, look, we'll come back to that. So, um, so it's a bit of a challenge. Yeah. yeah. 
just water away, like water supply is a big thing. We need to go just find it's going to be a big thing. Well, well yeah, no, I'm, um, I think the uh, the uh, the water, um, uh, the three waters, the stormwater, wastewater, and water supply are um, uh, pivotal to uh, the community and uh, to um, not not just our um, area, Mercury Bay, but to the whole the whole area. Mm. And uh, so I'd I'd like to see that the investigation um, mm. continue at uh, at full strength. I think it's very very important. So I'm hearing two people that say we do not support a reduction in the budget for the stormwater, wastewater, and water. Mm -hmm. Does everyone here agree with that change? Yeah. Are you able to make that change directly on you? Anyone opposed to that to you? You're all right. Everybody wants to check change, Kelly, and then we can see what got changed. It's through the chair. Sorry, Peter, so are you, your concerns are about those investigations holding up future development? Well, I would imagine that the investigation comes before um, further works or development. We did that. And I, I just wouldn't like to see a, um, a, a delay in, in the process. Yeah. So just to, to clarify, I, um, because there's, there's generally delaying investigations that can be delayed, and then there's, um, you know, ruling out the potential to, to delay something that's related to a development and recovery opportunity. Mm -hmm. that, might just be a slightly different position to land. Mm. Okay, do you mean some more of some change in wording there then, Dean? Um, or maybe just some clarification, if, because if, if the intent is just to make sure that um, any delays do not impact um, recovery or future uh, development, um, then, then yeah, then that's, a, that's slightly different. So, what is the change of wording that you would put in there? Or what's the addition that you would put in there? Um, through the chair, I'd propose that the, the, um, the board is, is um, the board wants to ensure that um, any delays do not impact on um, recovery or future development potential. Not really mm -hmm. What, what do I use? Yeah. It doesn't really meld on with what we've got there before. There any, any, that needs more detail around it. Yeah. Well, um, uh, without, without the detailed knowledge um, that you gentlemen have, um, I, I, I would um, suggest that the uh, changing be that the Mercury Bay Community Award does not support a reduction in the budget, et cetera. Yeah, which we've made that change there, Peter. It's already there, babe. Yeah. yeah. This change. Yeah, yeah. So we've made that. Up the top. Oh, good on you. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Dean, sorry, did what? Where did the delays fit into that statement, or is that another whole statement? Oh, sorry, I, I meant reduction in budget, um, where it may cause a delay um, to recovery or uh, future development. So it might be okay to reduce budget if it's something we can do at a later date. And it's a fix that isn't required um, for development. It mm. won't slow us down. And it's just okay. adding that emphasis. So there's two things in there. It's either do not support it totally, like just have do not support, or do not support where it may cause a delay in development. Rika, you're <laughs> what do you think? No? I don't, I'm not quite sure why we would complicate it. We just don't support a reduction. Mm -hmm. stop. Yeah, stop. Okay. Yeah, take a look. Actually, there's take it been up. some yeah. thinking behind the figures that's there. Yeah, <laughs> through, so, through the chair. So I suppose the thinking behind the figures is 300,000 of OPEX is approximately $12 per rate per, um each unit. So it's a quite a big amount when you're talking about operational funding. And so whilst um, I think, you know, we're... We want to keep things moving. We're also very aware of the impact on the communities and um, the costs that everyone's facing. And so, in trying to manage the rates, we're looking at different areas. So we haven't we haven't cut all the budgets out. So it's not like all the investigations have gone. 
it's reducing those investigations. So it's a reduction in the investigations budget. So um, probably picking up on what I was talking about before, if there's something really urgent, we can still go and do that. Um, and I wouldn't see this this reduction being um, someone wants to do a new development and we say we can't, you know, because we can't do the investigation because generally the investigation would be done probably by the developer who was doing the development. Mm. We'd be involved in that. So it probably doesn't limit that um, from that perspective, I would say. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I don't know if that helps or, or complicates it, but um, okay. sure. investigation budgets are always tricky because it's kind of like how long is a piece of string? Mm. Um, as far as like, so if we're investigating all our underground assets, which we've done a lot of work on that over the last few years, <clears throat> but we've got so many of those, it's, it's how fast do we want to proceed with those investigations? Do we want to do them over five years or are we having to do them over 10 years, you know? And so a reduction just means they'll take a bit long. That's one example of where we've tried to look at how we can take a middle road rather than either hang on to all the budget or getting rid of the whole lot. So we've tried to, tried to take that middle road. Mm, okay. But again, you know, there'll be there'll be more discussion obviously at the council table around, you know, pulling together all the board's um, submissions and feedback and the, and the public, so. So in respect to that paragraph, um, is it possible to get a just a bit of a show of hands or a vote on whether you support it? Sorry, wrong wording. Whether you're happy with it saying do not support a reduction of budget. Who who agrees with that statement? I, I wouldn't sure. give it. If you're not, we're not meant to give an indication oh. either way. Not you, but your your board member. Good. Okay. Just through the chair, though, the clarification uh, needs to be an understanding of the support of those. There is corresponding cost and ramification to to the rates by supporting that. At approximately twelve dollars per rate pair. That's very. That's very, very, very approximate. approximate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So for the three board members that are here. Um, one best permission to say, do not support a reduction in the budget. <laughs> yes. yes. Leave it in that. Um, I did make a general statement in the next bit, um, again, picking up on some of the conversation, just in respect to investigation fees generally, whilst the board acknowledge the need for fiscal restraint, they submit that where possible, investigation budget should remain in place to allow for projects to be shovel ready as external or internal funding becomes available moving forward. Is everybody happy with that general statement? I guess. Um, is it necessary if they change their first mm. paragraph? Um, it was actually separate to, I should have probably put another heading on it. It was just general investigation fees. It was a general comment that came out of previous. So it? that doesn't relate to the three borders? It doesn't specifically relate. Maybe I should put a heading there. If we just put investigations. Well, well, in regard to that second paragraph, if you were to um, delete um, uh, from, uh, or delete whilst the Mentor Bay Board acknowledged the need for fiscal restraint, if you were to um, delete um, that part, um, then it would read in respect to an investigation of fees generally, they submit the where possible, etc. Take out whilst and take out acknowledge, yeah. so that it says the Mentor Bay Community Board so much. Yes. And from there, back to there. Where from me to where? So from the knowledge, sorry, to to the. Come to the light of seconds, thank you. Get it? That's that roof. The meter closed the blinds. Oh, the window. That's all right. Thank you. Okay, so it's respect of investigation finished January. Look at the community boards in that. What do you possible investigation that would be remain in place to allow the project to be shovel ready and to send all internal funding become available in the report? Thank you. Is that, we'll wait for this to come back. Is that better for you, Peter? Yeah.
Yes, we've just got a little bit of a change to that statement. We've just said in the speech of investigation to these generally, the board submit that where possible the budget should remain in place to allow. Yes. Are you happy with yes. Proceed. Yeah. Okay. Holland Street. Now, when you talked about it before, you were it was really sort of um, should we even make a comment on Pollen Street or should we just make a comment from our experience of having had a town centre upgrade? So I give it a very general comment from us that it should um, be led by the Thames community with particular reference to the Thames business community. Now, if you want that taken out, more than happy. I don't think we need to comment on it. Okay, so should we just take that all out and put no comment? What do you think, Bess? No comment. Let's get rid of all of that colour, please. I'll leave Pollen Street on because it's in the submission form and we'll just no comment. We'll, we'll fix it up afterwards. Uh, Capital Works, there was a lot of discussion around the cycleway development, which has been deferred to the 24th Legal mm -hmm. LTP. Um, and I've just written that they reiterate their support for the cycleway development project, which was resolved at your 8th February meeting. Um, and the board requests that the 180,000 in the 23-24 year and the long-term plan be retained in this annual plan, um, which will enable the works to be undertaken in a timely manner as anticipated by the board when they made that resolution. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Okay. Um, what are you not happy with, Peter? What would you? I'd, I'd, prefer, you I'd prefer to see the uh, expenditure deferred. Best results. Um, Best, sorry. Oh, sorry. Is that um, what we said before? So, would it be fair to put that? Um, Should we put something in there about it's not not unanimously supported? Uh, if, if you like. Do you think we can? Uh, I'm happy that with it as it is. Solid. Yeah, I'm fine with it as it is. Yeah, as it is. John, you're in the same lane as Peter on that one? I am. Um, we could put we could put that it's not unanimous. What do you think on that one, Dean? How would we best read that? Yeah, I would put something like that um, just to record, um, to record where it lies. Um, or you could just record the numbers okay. that you've got, that whatever, like it is. what everyone's comfortable <laughs> with. Are you happy if we do that afterwards then with the board? Are you happy if we just put something in on that? I can pick it back out to you all. Shall we try and nail down those words now? It'll be easier to nail them down now, won't they? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, would we be better to say the Mickey Bay Community Board discussed the Mickey Bay Cycleway Development Project as resolved? And. <laughs> that through the chair, can I yep. just. Um, just a, there was some good reading. Engineer, but. Um, could you just say something, and Dean can kick me under the table, could you just say something like, uh, you know, as you were going to, yeah, there was discussed, uh, there were some concerns that the majority view was at stage, or? Yeah, that like would that. be great. You should capture yeah. the rest of yeah. the Sorry, my, my words had run out. <laughs> and, uh, and also, I wish they might. something to remember, just, to open some just to yeah, and just through the chair, also the, the chair will have the opportunity to talk to the submission. Um, if you want to, um, and obviously the, the two councillors here will know the discussion anyway, yeah. so they'll be able to well, they'll be able to talk to it. Maybe put um, the discussion make a base like a development project as resolved at the meeting. We need to put that but after that. Sorry, Kelly. Um, because it was resolved. And then what you're noting that after that.
Okay. So, is everyone happy with that change? Because then it goes on to say the board requests that the 180 adopted be, reta be, be retained, which you don't all agree on. Yes, I think the, the noting that it's not unanimous should be on the should be on the top. Okay. Well, it does apply to both, though, doesn't it? It does. Because the resolution wasn't unanimous either. No, but it was noted in the resolution. That was noted in the resolution, I think. So that would be all right for a few second. I think they discussed it as resolved, and then with a full stop here, and then the <laughs> sorry, Kelly, um, the board and the list would be where you'd put somewhere in this part, but it was not um, unanimous. Where are your good words again, Bruce? Yeah, I'll just put it at the end there with the cursors now. I think the line before was probably fine as well. Again, it's um, semantics earlier, isn't it? On that one? Yeah, I, I think the council is reading the submission pack for I don't know what that means. So moving down to pay as you're throwing, which is on. Page 17 of our proposed council, district town consultation document. Um, here were the three options. One of them was the $7 um, and the amount of 396.28 IR rates, of the second one being $8 for the pay as you throw and the rates proposed rate going to 375.76. And then the third option being the pay system is $9. And the rates of the 355-24 proposed option. So, really, it's over to oh. the board which option they think they would like to support, if any. Uh, yes, I support option two, the middle one. So, Thank on you. the council convention document, it has that council's preferred option is option two. Mm -hmm. So, you could just literally say you support the council's preferred option, option two. Has anyone got any other further comment on that, Peter? You're thinking hard on that one. Which one do you want? Oh, it's in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, has I just added to that? Option two. Yes, option two. So I support the information option two. Brilliant. Um, and I have put the had no comment on the proposed fees and charges, but you may have some comments, so please feel free to. Yeah, let me know what that might be. Um, I have a couple. Um, the removal of the library fines. Do we know why? The yeah, income for us, isn't it? I can. Please. Please. Through the chair. Oh, I have no idea what page is that. Oh, it's 19. So through the chair, um, the removal of library fines is something that has been a change which has been happening across libraries across New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, so roughly 50% or more than that now actually of libraries don't charge fines. So fines are, um, are nowadays seen as a barrier to people um, utilising the library. Um, and so that's why the majority or a large percentage of councils have gone away from them. The other thing I'd say is that the income gained off the fines is actually very, mm -hmm. very small and minimal across the three libraries that we have in the district. Mm -hmm. And so for those reasons, um, that's why that was proposed. So I know Good question because it does seem weird when we're like in the crunch and we yes. oh, we're going to give away income, but it is very small. Um, it's, it's I can't remember what the number is exactly, but it's a, a minuscule percentage of the library's operating costs. Yeah. If, if there's a repeat offender, can the librarian um, not supply that um, person with any more books? Um, I would I, so I would suggest, through the chair I would suggest that's always an option. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's a you know it's a contract between the library, which is council, and the, the patrons or the customers. Mm -hmm. So you know you've got to it's a contract you've got to agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, and if one party doesn't agree, like the library is to know we've actually we know what we've got history here. Mm -hmm. So we won't, you know, that's always yeah. an option. Mm -hmm. Trustee, did you have more? Um, yes. I guess I mean for me it would be the reduction of fines. I wouldn't want to eliminate them completely because I find that they actually uh, help people like 
see value in the in the book or make the effort to return it or things like that. Like I think that it's um, beneficial for the community to have them. Through the shed, do we know, Bruce, how much a library fine is? Um, it's based on time, so I think the fine is based on you know how long over your your period you get. Wow, like so many, so much per day kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, which I. It's a while since I've been following the line for something. <laughs> do you use the library? That's the key. Uh, yes, I do. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Not as much as I should, but I do. Okay. Okay. Well, does anyone else report that? Yeah. Or just leave it? Was, I guess there's one question. Was, was there any other comment on fees and charges generally? Uh, yes, I had the. Uh, the uh, concessions fees um, they've all been reduced. Um, do we have any reason why the concession fees have been all reduced? Sorry, it doesn't say. Well, it doesn't say on here, but it says parts and concessions in all areas. The fees are now three fifty per tenth site. And when I went and looked at the past ones, they were like 750, so they've gone down. That's a tender process that's just gone through, went through council. I'm not fully. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I believe And people can prices. actually tend yeah. more than that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. please yeah. secure a site. Yeah. So that's a minimum fee. Yeah, it's a minimum, but why so, wouldn't we just have kept the minimum at what it was? Because now it's a tender process. So um, I think. I actually think, because I've looked at that document, I think it's a bit confusing the way that the wording of that actual this this chain, you know, it's, it's highlighted. Um, but um, I looked at it again yesterday afternoon, and unless you kind of went through that process, yeah. But there is just a little bit. It looks like there is one that is reduced. Yeah, I know it, exactly it's the, the one you're talking one, about. It's the year long one. And <laughs> yeah, but thing. I think that the whole thing will be. Um, the whole thing will be um, <laughs> the whole thing will be now you tender, mm -hmm. so it's a minimum, but maybe they've just moved the minimum and, like a and people, bigger. Yeah, people but, will probably tender more to secure their site. That's what how I understood it. I don't know enough about the background. Mm -hmm. I think it's so, linking. Yeah, that was just a concern that it's yeah. been lowered, so essentially we get less. Again, to the chair, I think, yeah, it's tend to press the report was that is the figure. That's all we got. Now we're trying to encourage more people to come on board, but we'll also encourage more competition. So to so get those higher um, higher monies in. The other thing I'd say is that at the moment, if you look at that four hundred dollars per concession times it out by the number of concessions we have, it's actually probably quite a small amount. I know I've said that already mm -hmm. on the fines, but um, mm -hmm. but it's actually quite a small amount. So by putting it back in, by keeping that. You're not gonna it's not like you're gonna bring in a lot of money, so we're not talking about thousands of concessions or anything like that. So uh, but again, it's just my comments. So stepping back, Chrissy, on what you were talking about before with library fees and charges. It's um books are books and magazines and DVDs are 50 cents a day. Mm -hmm. Um children's books are free on a child's library card, but 10 cents on an adult card, and the maximum charge for any item is only five dollars. Mm -hmm. Five dollars fine. So, yeah, it's not a lot, but I think that it is a it is punishment for them being late, but they're less likely to do it again. So I don't see the removal being a hit. Like it's, if it's not, if it's that minute scale, then it's not going to be a hindrance to people being part of the library. It costs a lot to administer mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, and that they have been kind of actually ch yeah. chasing that five dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, does it become worth it? That, he says that's one thing to consider and probably helps us consider the issue the chair. Um, just a question. Can these library fines be reinstated? Yes, yeah, through the chair, that could be. Yeah. So if the following year you decided we've got everyone abusing the, mm. the, the system, you could definitely reintroduce fines as a fee and have these yep. charges. So Good thinking. That's Thank you. always been changed. So just um, we're moving on. The Mickey Bay Community Board, I've got no comment. Um, we've had the library charges raised and the concession fees changed. I'm very conscious that concessions have gone through a very long, involved 
process in the background to get to where it is. Um, for the other board members, uh, are either of those two things something that you want to specifically comment on, just to tick those off at the moment? No, I've got to comment on those two. Mm -hmm. Best, do you want to make any comment on those two? No. Um, didn't want to speak about this. And is, is there any other fees and charges that you wanted to raise? Rika, did you want to raise one? No, I wanted to go back into the waste, actually, but finish fees and charges. Fees and charges, so is everyone comfortable with no comment at this point? Um, can we go back? Too far. Uh, it's the page you throw, it's got a misleading heading. Um, in the uh, consultation document, we talk about um, requests to governors for financial assistance. What page is that on, sorry? Page 11. Have we had any progress, outcome, feedback? The last goal, please. Yeah, so, that, so through the chair, there, is some, um, there are some government fees being on the waste levy yeah. being taken away as a result of the cyclone. Yeah. Okay. So um, so they're definitely taking away the, the waste levy fee on cyclone material. And then we're pushing, we've been pushing for longer term deferral of that waste levy to try and take the pressure off us. Um, I'm not sure where that's actually got to yet. But something did come through this morning, which I haven't had a chance to read. Oh, I'm for press. Oh, that would be great if they did. I thought that would be a very um, good thing for the, uh, for the government to do. But. Did anyone have any further comments on that document as it stands? Are you happy to, for that to be a submission? Um, in which case, I'll hand over to the chair to make the resolution. Uh, did we want to comment on the major event fund? Oh, yes, major event fund. Good night. Well, was that an operation? It was, yes, wasn't it? Some play. So that would be part of our. Um, Operational Works Program as on page 10. It says removing the 50,000 budget for this coming year means we won't be taking applications from event organisers that help support events being developed or grown in our district. Instead, we will have to work with external agencies to source funding that may help support organisers. So it's not saying we won't support them in some way, you just won't support them through that 50,000 budget. And I would suggest if we did support it, it, you know, wording right. to the effect that it didn't have to be the full 50,000, but I think it was. Right. We should have done some of it. Um, so that, yeah, I think we should have done some of the management event funds in order to be able to support some more well, events in our So the Metro Bay Community Board support retention of some. Mm -hmm. Um, do we have an amount? Do we have an amount that we want to support the retention of, or are we just, just you know, making a statement to retain the yeah, like retain yeah. some? Yeah. So, retain, support retaining um, some budget towards the major events fund. Something like this. Peter, you good? Yeah, I'll lift that. Same. Rika, John, Christy, yeah. We were chair just on that last question about the waste levy mm. funding. Um, so it is only on waste as a result of the cyclone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's waste that's generated as part of that. They remove the levy. So the, or the waste levy charge we pay per ton of material going to landfill. Obviously, some you know, councils have had a lot of stuff to clear up, and so what they're saying is you don't have to pay the levy on that stuff. Clean you know, up stuff that's going to landfill as a result of the of the January February events, but it's not any longer than that. Once yep. that stuff's cleared away, you pay the full exactly. amount. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Let's see. Through the chair, is is there any more comment on the submission? No. No. I'm good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
sorry, the Mercury Bay Community Board receives the draft 2023-2024 annual plan. Mercury Bay Community Board submission report dated the 3rd of January, or 3rd of March 2023. Uh, with, with the changes, with the current changes. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Oh. Okay. Can I have a mover? Second it, please. I'll move. I'll second. Okay. Peter and Bess. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? None carried. Oh, it was fine. Abstain. Okay, we've got John Grant abstaining. I'll just go and get John and Musty next week. Okay, we've got Musty and I'll move the next report, if you like. Mm -hmm. Just through the chair, Nicole on the line to cover the uh, mm -hmm. next report. I think John is on the way for the, the following case. It makes Great, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Need to have that all weather protection. Yes. Um, to get on with what they do, they're not asking for mm -hmm. money. We we by way of a grant, we supported them last year. Last year, so they're just looking for land. So I'll, I'll move it. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. That's OK. Yeah, you can. You can. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I take the report as being read. Um, there's no consent required um, by Landstar, and it's all on leased area. Um, the trust have approved it, and uh, property have no issues Brandy. with the proposal. Okay. Um, so the Mercury Bay Community Board recommends that Council approve the addition of the carport proposed by the Kuatunu Land Search and Rescue, incorporated on part of the property leased by the Coromandel Helicopter Rescue Trust. Uh, all those in favour say aye. Aye. Oh, right. Any opposed? None. Motion is carried. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, okay, so then item 3.2. Um, the land reserve in Coraglin. Good morning, Madam Chair and board members. John Muston, the property manager of council. Uh, pleased to meet you all. Um, this item is is really a fix up. Um, it should never have happened, really. So the Crown bought this parcel of land from the then landowners, um, you know, 38 years ago or so. Um, and before the and they paid them the money for the parcel of land. Um, if you're familiar with it, folks, if you if you think the Corrigan Park, you just go over the bridge, and as you're just heading heading south, you, the par, well, this big hill on the right, the par. Well, this little portion of, of reserve um, is 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 no no wider than, than a, a truck, and about the same length as a truck, just with a tail stream that starts. Um, it's just one of those things, you know. So the the uh, block of Te Kotahi uh, discovered it last year and sort of said, "Oh, we better tidy this up." Um, so they approached us to do this by declaring it as road and, and by giving the recommendations you had at the council, um, the reserve reservation over that tiny portion, um, which is I would say funny. Yes. You said no wider than a truck or longer than a truck. Yeah. Why did they purchase it? Just it's, it's it was just a section of, of, of state highway. It's it's currently it's part of the highway right now. If you drive over yeah. with it with the vehicles. So initially, they just purchased it because originally that bit of road was realigned all through there. Um, it used to come in closer to the bank of the power and it had a slightly different route. Thank so you. they were just realigning the road at that time. Yeah. I'll move. Okay. Do we have a seconder? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, let's leave the whole motion. I'm just saying, I don't see yeah. I have to. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? No, motion is carried. Okay, so then we've got item 3.3 the variation of lease on the boating club. Um, John is here to speak to that as well. 
you Madam Chair. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's fairly common knowledge what's happened with the, uh, the boating club's current location down there, and I understand you've visited the site this morning and had a, had a look. Um, so, um, the proposal there is to just move the bank from their, their least area from the existing site, which has been lost a bit to the storm events. They've got it in a temporary location right now, and they've identified with you, I think, this, the site of the permanent, new permanent location that's desired. So our park staff have, have looked at the site and looked at alternatives all the way down Buffalo Beach and around the area. Um, and there is no real viable alternative that gives them access to water or a sailing club activities, um, particularly slightly bigger boats. Um, so generally staff staff are uh, supporting proposed location. Now, there was a little bit of an issue that's highlighted in the report just around the, um, the renewal period. Unfortunately, the existing lease has, has two periods of 30 year renewals, which which is unfortunate that that happened in 1997 because that actually creates a subdivision in terms of the RMA definition, which says that a lease greater than 35 years of, of an allotment of part of the land is a subdivision. So that's effectively an unconsented subdivision the council's done. And if we were to rectify that, we'd have to go through the um, formal subdivision type process. Um, and in that site, in that location, um, to create a new reserve lot when you've already it's already reserved um, is, is a bit of a nonsense. So we've approached and had discussions with Pub about rectifying that, and they've indicated that they're willing to um, vary their lease to give up their two rights of 30-year renewals and have one in substitution of four years, 365 days. That'll take us up to the um, 35 years period. For their existing leases. And so that's up to, they've got it until 2030, and that just gives them the other four years, almost five years. Then at that point in time, unless the reserve management plan is changed, um, we'd have to advertise at that point of our intention then to grant a new lease to the voting club. And they're, they're aware of that. Any questions? Yes, um, in this report, it doesn't mention any discussions or confirmations or support from our local iwi. Have they been consulted on this? Um, there's been some initial discussions with iwi. They haven't had a lot, of, a lot of traction in terms of reply. But given that the boating club's got to go through the RMA process and get here, which is new sealing process, both of which are going to require iwi mm -hmm. input. Um, that's going to happen, you know, so we're not subverting any process there. Mm. Now, questions through the chair. Um, you mentioned the support for the Boating Club in regards to the change of the lease term. Uh, is that um, a written agreement that's recorded somewhere? No, no, it's uh, through the chair. No, it's not. Um, we had a meeting with two of the club representatives. Um, they were going back to the club and have discussions around that. So if if the board supports this and council does too, then there will be a formal exchange as a correspondence between the parties. Um, I mean, from their perspective, you know, they're, they're really dead keen to get cracking on this. I mean, they're, they're, they've already instructed planner to do their resource management application stuff, uh, doing construction drawings for, for building consent purposes. Um, so, <laughs> All, all their actions are supporting support for that, that proposal. There's no surprises for anybody here. Um, through the chair, can I just ask, there are the existing um, blocks and uh, sandbags that have uh, been put on the on the porch or where it's been eroded. What's the program for those? Um, I haven't, through you, the chair, I haven't had any discussions with any party about those, um, okay. and I don't know what other council staff may have done. Yeah, it's for the chair. So those um, um, structures that you saw are unrelated to the boat club activity. Right. Um, so, so they're in relation to the, uh, the neighbouring sites. Oh, okay. So there is a bunch of 
trees and things, and they're going to what have to be removed so that the building can go back, and then a driveway and access routes have to be put in. Correct? Yeah, and that will all be covered as part of through the resource consent process. Yeah, and do we as the landowners get any say in how that works and the water and all that sort of thing? Or is it just we're approving the lease today? Um, we're, we're approving a lease area, um, but there will be have to be some discussion around the means of access mm -hmm. and how do you get the little sailboats out onto the water's edge and those sorts of things. But it's it's obviously foreseeable that there's going to be some track form of some description, mm -hmm. um, probably more likely just to be the compacted sand rather than any, any um, improvement on top, um, which is no different than what they had before. There's just a lot of water having been there. It's all going downwards. There's going to be a lot of water around that area, being wetlands and stuff. Yeah, that's just concerns about that. Just through the chair. Can those trees that are on the fun, can they be relocated somewhere else? Um, or are they going to be pushed over? Just, mm -hmm. yeah, just for the chair, um, I'm aware that the boating club has had some initial discussions uh, with some contractors around relocating those trees, um, but those details will be firmed up in the resource consent application. So th there's initial discussions underway um, and the intent was to, to transplant or relocate. So can we give our approval to move forward with it, but with conditions that certain things are met or something? Because at the moment, I feel like there's not a lot of clarity about what's actually going to be there and what it's going to look like. So through the chair, <laughs> if I may, I think understand um, sentiment from what you're saying, but um, I think I'd go back to what uh, property manager is saying is the resource consent is the, is the correct place for all those conditions. The lease is not, <clears throat> the lease is not traditionally, is not where you'd get into all those details um, because there's quite a bit of work that will need to go on as part of that resource consent that the boat club will have to do. They'll have mm. to work with council on that. <clears throat> so there's the processes under the Resource Management Act for that to happen, So not which would be more correct than the lease. But just through the chair, I would see that um, variation of leases being the first step in, in a process. Um, Very good. Yeah. Um, so, do we have a mover and a seconder to receive the motion that we uh, that we can approve the consent? Sorry. Uh, that we change the lease with the Mercury Bay Club and substitute the current land lease, the new proposed area, and the renewal for the two year period from 30 years to the four year period. Yep, I'm happy to move that. Okay. And Beth. All those in favour say aye. 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 Opposed? And motion is carried. We've got item 4.1, the community board's project program. Thank you, John. Here. Stay in the room because we get excluded uh, item to come by. this one. Uh, can I have a mover and a seconder? Other way. Rico? Oh, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, I'm here. Can I have a yeah. seat, please? Yeah, I'll yeah, seat. Uh, are there any questions? I have a on the first page. Yeah. Um. The river's long, sorry. The river's long. There must be someone logged in in the room <coughs> as well as that microphone. I think it's okay. It's off now. It's fine. Okay. Um, the playground renewal at Moiwai, yep. 7,000. That looks like a very light budget when we sort of look at what we spent on Meditikaia playground renewal. <laughs> 
I don't think the work involved is as extensive as Mary Tetai, um, sorry, through the chair. Um, but it might be, yes. Mary Tetai was an extensive amount of, of work, including landscaping and what have you. I think this is just the uh, change of the playground equipment, but uh, I can check on that if you wish. Yeah, it just seems a huge um, difference in figures. Um, I think the scope of work is different, uh, yeah. Rika. Thanks. But, uh, yeah, for a fair comment. Yeah. I'll check. Thank you. I'll, I'll come back via email to Heather. Are there any other points? Uh, I'm um, with regard to the sheriff block. Um, mm -hmm. I'm planning to pay a site visit uh, up there on the 17th of April. And uh, if anyone wishes to accompany me, yep. they'd be more than welcome. What day was that, Andrew? Sorry? 17th. 17th I've, of uh, I've emailed uh, Peter Abramson of Hoppers and I'm just uh, waiting for a, a time on the 17th. But um, um yeah if the if you wish to uh, uh, accompany me then um uh, you'd be more than welcome thanks andrew i think lots of people around are nodding so that'd be really good yep well uh, form a queue you know <laughs> yeah Um, so, so, in terms of the the Masarangi treatment plant upgrade, the wastewater one, yeah. Yes, we've got amber there. Yeah, I think um, that's attributable to the uh, time we've been waiting for WRC to confirm. Excuse me. The uh, the date of the hearing, and I I'm not I'll be honest with you. I'm not up to speed with exactly where that is at the moment. But I think it's it's taken a an inordinate amount of time for WRC to confirm that. So um, I uh, that has delayed progress. So as we see, sort of titles in this new development come online. And, and people start to build out at Masarangi in the beaches, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Um, Winton. Do we have capacity to connect those? Through the chair, I can <clears throat> I can answer that through the chair. So yes, yeah, so um, infrastructure manager uh, who obviously has the portfolio of wastewater under him, as it's that's Mo. Mm. Uh, he's gone through and had some work done and looked into it himself, and he's comfortable that the amount of um, sections um, coming can be accommodated under the under the current wastewater treatment plant for a period. Mm -hmm. So we've done a number of upgrades over the last couple of years. We did some for Christmas. Um, we've currently got some others underway um, at the moment, just getting finalised. And those upgrades and improvements have allowed us to take um, those additional sections on. Obviously, the intention is to move to a full new treatment plant, most likely a tertiary treatment plant, which will set us up for the future and will, you know, with a much longer term consent. But as Andrew correctly said, we're in the process at the moment um, of trying to get to a hearing for that resource consent, and that's why yep. it's in that sheet. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the date has been moved a few times. It was going to be last year. We got closer to the end of the year, then it was like, okay, we'll do it early in the 2023. Yeah. Um, we've had two months of um, drama, and so basically that's kind of gone on hold. But they, they will get that scheduled in. It all is always tricky to schedule in resource consent hearings because of the, all the different parties, um, the commissioners, and all the rest of it. So um, we don't actually have an answer for you about when that will be, but um, no. really soon. Okay. And once you have the resource, sorry, just to go on a bit more, once we have the resource consent, once you land that consent, you know exactly what conditions you've got to comp comply with for the period of the consent. So it might yeah. be for. 20 years, that will then inform exactly the design of the treatment plant and what we'll end up building. So that we, it's a bit of a kind of domino thing. We need to wait, but I'll go back to what Mo, that Mo is comfortable that we can take those um, those um, lots um, with the current plant. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
Because they won't all come on at the same time. Correct. The material staged. Yeah, correct. And, and through the chair, one last thing I'd say is obviously water supply is, is linked to that. Perfect. So yep. water supply, uh, Mr Bowden is obviously looking after the um, drinking water standards project across the district, upgrading all our water treatment plants to new technology membranes um, for the majority of them. So the, the challenge we've got at Motoring is we've just got a land issue that we're dealing with on our current piece of land um, around the ownership of it. And obviously to apply for a resource, con uh, sorry, for a building consent, you need to be the owner of the property. So we need to resolve the ownership issue, which we're mm -hmm. in the middle of. So we can then apply for the building consent to get on and build that um, water treatment plant. The build time on the water treatment plant is, is probably about nine months. So as soon as we get that resolved, which we're pretty hopeful we'll get sorted soon, it'll be about nine months before we can build the new water treatment plant. And what the new water treatment plant brings with it is a much higher quality um, and more robust treatment in the form of membranes, which means that when the river gets dirty during rain events, you can treat for a lot longer before you end up having to shut it down than the current plant, which is a conventional filtration system. So that going back to sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, back to no, because comment, the, the, the properties won't come on immediately. And when we look at how long it takes for properties to go on stream and how to be built, the time frame to get that um treatment plant, new treatment plant built, we're comfortable we can manage that. Mm -hmm. Any further discussions? Okay, uh, Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. No way. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, not on the work program, um, but a question around an email from folks at Martha Rangi about this loop track and bollards yes. essentially going in. Now, it's not on this program. Yes. Wanting to, I don't know anything about it, mm -hmm. just wanting to understand some background. Yep. And should it be on this work program? Um, so through the chair, it's not a it's not a capital project and it's oh, not, yeah, true. Um, okay. so that's that's why you won't see it on this program. Uh, I do have details that I've got back from my team regarding that. Yes. I'll have a quick look through it. It's actually quite confusing. But it sounds like when the developer did um, some work there, they extended a section of seal in that area yes. um, that was actually um, extended off the legal road. So it looks like, you know, it's legal road, but it actually goes off the legal road. So from a roading perspective, the roading engineers are very black and white. That's that's mm. how they like things, black roads with white lines on them. So, <laughs> so from their perspective, they're like, that's not legal road. We need to make sure people know that. And so stop that access going off the legal road so people aren't driving on areas that aren't legal road. So from their perspective, it's like we need to restrict access. They've talked to the parks team who have said, well, the way we would do that is, I hesitate to mention Don't the word. holes which are in the ground, um, <laughs> short ones. And so between the teams, they've gone, okay, this makes sense. There's a wider consideration that we need to go through and understanding yes. that. And so thank you for bringing it to my attention. And so now we're working our way through that. So we're going to push pause? Push and pause. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Um, through the chair, I have one query. Uh, I'm, I'm asked now and then. Um, is there anything in the works program for the reinstatement of the Brophy's Beach um, boat ramp? From the storm? Mm, yeah. From the storm. storm yeah. No, it's not at the moment. Through the chair. Now, there won't be anything in the work program, but that will be on the list of works that my team have gone through and done a big spreadsheet of all the coastal damage, all the road yeah. damage, huge spreadsheets so that will be on there. Okay. And so we've just got to go through our processes about working out how do we how do we fund that. Obviously, we're trying hard to get as much funding as we can from central government around these things, but there's a, people are a lot worse off than us, I suppose, in Hawke's Bay and Gisborne, so mm. we've got to take that into account. But um, we'll make sure we come back with an update as soon as we know where we're going with that for the board. Well, there's okay. two practicalities will be on the schedule too. Right. Right. Is down there? No, nah, those are on um, Buffalo Beach, just at the Lane end Beach. of the rock wall, across oh, from the okay. footpaths being taken out. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So okay. will they be on the same schedule? Yeah, yeah, yep, correct. Yep. The teams have gone asked out. a lot about that. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see if we can get an update for, for the board on that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I know one of those Bahita Carvers, they were going to pack soil up, soil, sand and soil up around it to, in, a, in an effort to. Keep it alive in the interim. 
Um, I'm not sure whether that's been done yet or not, but Bruce, maybe that might be something to just follow up because that was the intent. Yeah, it's okay. been done yet. Okay. No. Big thing on Facebook about it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I have one more question. <laughs> um, we had some dialogue a little while ago with some parents that wanted to see a bus shelter at Gary Landing. Now, that where is that? Because um, they're putting a proposal together. Oh, so okay. So they've got their yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Um, we covered the waste transfer station previously. May we be cheeky and ask Bruce a question while he's here around the food waste? <laughs> I've been a couple of times. Have we got a plan for collecting and yep. disposing? Yes, yeah, so through the chair, the food waste collection obviously is a new initiative. Um, that a lot of councils are moving forwards with across the country. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ministry for the Environment are uh, pushing um, councils mm -hmm. quite hard and have signaled changes. So it is something that we've incorporated into our new contract commencing 1st of September with waste management. So they will be collecting food waste that is presented at curbside in the um, 26 litre caddies. That food waste will go down to the Atirahia site. So down in here, there's the, um, the landfill site. So there's the landfill. And then off to the side, there's a composting operation where they're oh, currently already okay. been making compost for a number of years. They already take food waste from other providers, uh, other councils, areas, and they put that food waste into that, you know, and there's compost being produced. It takes a number of number of weeks or months mm -hmm. before it's made, and then they, they use it, gets utilised and sold and okay. put back into the ground. All right. That's good. Thank you. I didn't know that answer that one. Um, the other thing, sorry, can I be so bold through the chair just to while we're while we're um, going taking a weaving route through things? Um, uh, just on the um, resource recovery um, site at the transfer mm -hmm. station. So my team, Anna um, Stevens, who's a solid waste manager, mm -hmm. she has um, she has been communicating with the resource recovery group. Um, so she's been talking to Tracy, I think it is. Tracy Bell. Yeah, with yeah, the group to make sure that we're doing what we can. To enable them to keep moving. So I don't anticipate there's any issue with with them moving still. What we're going to do is we at our you know at, at council's cost we're going to fence off that area so that they can keep doing what they need to do and keep moving forward without being held up by us. Um, and that'll be useful in the future as well because whilst they are integrated sites, there's also like when you've got people wandering in a re, mm, you know, resource yeah. recovery centre, it helps to kind of section off areas within a within an operational site such as a transfer station. So so we're working hard, Anna. Um, Anna is a proactive person, as you may know, if you've met her um, around communication. So she has been um, communicating with that group. So I just want to let you know that. I mean, sorry, things have been very hectic over January. Yeah, yeah. Every, but I think she's been talking to them last year. She's been talking to them um, early parts of this year as well. So she is communicating. Okay. And so they will be able to kick things off and the development of their buildings and things are at their cost. Correct. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the Mercury Bay Community Board receives the Mercury Bay Community Board CapEx Work Program 2022-2023 and other operational information updates report dated the 2nd of March. All those in favour say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? None. Motion carried. Um, so 5.1, the action schedule. May I have a mover and a seconder, please? Recap. I'll see. Uh, any questions or comments? Should we potentially include on here um, John Maud's request for some ride alongs? The community patrol? Yeah, so it just doesn't get forgotten. I think that will go on the next. I think that would go on the next one through the chair because he's raised that to date. Um, Chrissy, did you want to comment on that? Because you did actually make a time to go, didn't you? I did, and then at the cyclone came. So I couldn't go. So. Same. I did too. Yeah. 
this particular chair, that's the type of thing that we could get Elena to quickly administer for us and figure out who can do up a bit of a bit of what dates and, yeah. and communicate that to, um, to John Ward. So we'll do that. Mm. With, I don't think oh, yes, I just didn't want it to get forgotten. Yeah, because I, I but we'll happily add that to the action schedule for next time. Not much else on there. Um, so the Mercury Bay Community Board receives the action schedule dated the 18th of January 2023. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. So we've got the report to exclude the public. So we will now stop recording. Oh, we got Jack. Jack. So, yeah. Can we have a mover and a seconder, please? No. I'll second. So John and Peter. So we will have to just clean the line. Thank you. 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 Thank you